Hello, my name is Natalia Molina, and I work in civic engagement at the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona. I also serve on the Pima County Interfaith Leadership Team. Co-presenting with me today is my colleague, Steve Perkins. Thanks, Natalia. I am also on the Pima County Interfaith Executive Council with Natalia. And I represent St. Pius X Catholic Church PCI Ministry. But first, a little bit about who we are and what we stand for. PCI believes in citizen leadership. We are intentionally comprised of many religious beliefs, political philosophies, ethnicities, and economic levels. We believe the vast majority of adults to have the capacity to speak for themselves and act with others on important issues to their families and their values. Back to you, Natalia. Thank you, Steve. Today, we are going to share details on food resources. Let's begin. Okay. So what we're going to cover is who can get food, what do I need to get food, what will I get and how often, where and when is food being distributed, what if I can't go to the food bank, SNAP and medical insurance updates, and Medicare savings for seniors. So who can get food and what do I need? Everybody eats and is eligible to receive food through the Emergency Food Assistance Program, also known as TFAP. All you need is a photo ID and a piece of mail demonstrating that you live here in Arizona. Now, what will I receive and how often? Pick up TFAP. Emergency Food Assistance Program is once a month per person or per family. What you will receive may include beans, a rice or a pasta, a sauce, a cereal or oatmeal, cans of veggies or fruit. And you may receive some surplus items. Now, we offer the emergency assistance program once per month because it is intended to sustain a person for three to four days. But the surplus items that are offered help complement the emergency food assistance program and can include milk or orange juice, eggs, a protein like chicken or fish, and fresh produce like green beans, potatoes, or, or cauliflower, just to name a few. Now, Steve, um, where can we go if we are in need of food? Uh, as of Tuesday, May 5th, the drive through Food Distribution Center will move to a parking lot at the, at the Kino Sports uh, Complex at the southwest corner of Ajo and Country Club. Food distribution will be Tuesdays and Thursdays only from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. Please note that it is recommended that you regularly check the Community Food Bank Facebook page for updates as things are changing all the time. In Marana, the hours are Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., Wednesdays, 3 p.m. to 6, and closed Friday, May 1st. Beginning May 2nd, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., Wednesdays, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., and the second Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Green Valley, Tuesdays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., 
Wednesday and Fridays, 9 a.m. to noon. Closed Friday, May 1st. Beginning May 2nd, Tuesdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And Wednesday and Fridays, 9 a.m. to noon. A motto, Thursdays, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Closed Friday, May 1st. Beginning May 2nd, Thursdays, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And the third Saturday, 9 a.m. to noon. And finally, Nogales. Tuesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, 9 a.m. to noon. Wednesdays, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. for seniors only. And then 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for all others. Close Friday, May 1st. Beginning May 2nd, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. First Saturdays, 9 a.m. to noon. Natalia, how about food for children? So, many Tucson area school districts are offering free breakfast and lunch to children under 18. And um, this was the best site that was offered to us that offers a list of those sites. And it is from This Is Tucson. And again, just to repeat, it is thisistucson.com, updated a huge list of places to find free meals for Tucson children during school closures. Now, they're distributing food for free for children under 18 years of age, but the children must be present to pick up food. Additionally, and this has just happened this week, there are a number of libraries in Pima County that are offering super snacks, okay? Monday through Friday from 9 to 10 a.m., you can pick up your grab-and-go super snacks at Nanini Library, Martha Cooper Library, Valencia Library, Mission Library, and El Rio Library. And then Monday through Friday from 10.30 to 11.30 at Woods Memorial Library, Extra Columbus Library, El Pueblo Library, Southwest Library, and Quincy Douglas Library. Now, Steve, what if I can't go to the food bank? Um, what do I do then? That's easy. Um, all you really have to do is write a note specifying your name as it's shown on your photo ID. And be sure to give the photo ID to your friend or relative. This includes your address and a statement that your friend or relative is getting the food for you today. When your friend presents your photo ID and your letter, the food is given to them for delivery to you. Now, Steve, can you tell us about SNAP and access? Yes, uh, SNAP is, refers to Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or what most people think of as food stamps. During the COVID-19 emergency, SNAP qualifications have been eased. With regard to access, if you find yourself without health insurance, you can apply to access but you must apply with, within 60 days of loss of your coverage. You must qualify by your income, which must be less than $18,000 a year for a single person and less than $37,000 a year for a family of four. Immigrants who have legally resided in the state for longer than five years are also 
eligible to receive access as long as they qualify by the income requirements. Immigrants whose legal residence is less than five years cannot qualify. Undocumented immigrants do not qualify under any circumstance, but they do have one other option. And that is the community health centers like El Rio. They will provide medical care on a free or low cost basis for anyone, regardless of their status. It, please note, however, that Pima County Interfaith has produced a module similar to this, describing in great detail all facets of your ability to get health insurance and coverage and we recommend that you uh, view our website and review that material as well. Back to you, Natalia. Okay, so we wanted to share with you um, an exciting service, which is Medicare Savings. At the Community Food Bank, we can help review your Medicare award letter and see if you are eligible for savings in your Medicare cost, which can put money back into your pocket. One story that was shared with me included a family that had a budget from Social Security that was $500 a month. Okay, Social Security budget, $500 a month, and $180 was going monthly to Medicare. Staff at the food bank reviewed their Medicare award letter and was able to put that $180 a month back into the pocket of that family. We have a dedicated line to help you with this and it's featured right there on the screen, 520-882-3314. Now, if you're interested in additional resources, we encourage you to visit the Community Food Bank website at www.communityfoodbank.org. And because things are ever changing, please visit our Facebook page as well. Thank you so much for your time. And please share your stories about COVID-19 and your family and about your experience feeding your family during the crisis on our website, www.pimacountyinterfaith.org. Thank you.